We have an update to a story that we told you about yesterday. A young woman in Bridgeport, Connecticut, who died last month under very suspicious circumstances. Lauren Smith Fields was found in her apartment by the man she had had a date with the night before. Her family accuses police of mishandling this investigation. Newly released autopsy results conclude that her death was, quote, an accident. Lise Preston is here with more on the story. You're back again from yesterday, Lise. It's very troubling. The more we hear, the worse it seems to get. It's very concerning. Good morning, Gail. Preliminary results from the state paint the first real picture of how Smithfields died. The medical examiner found Smithfields. What's up, guys? What's up? Welcome to another video. Let me say thanks again for tuning in. And um, as usual, please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hit that notification bell. So, I know that you guys you know, must have seen or heard about this story with this young lady that died mysteriously. And, um, you know, this, this, this is so puzzling because, first of all, um how can how can a police officer go on a crime scene where where a young a young well not even young anyone at all you go on a scene that someone someone died right and you treat it that way as if uh nothing happened someone just maybe you know got bruised up or something you know false alarm or whatever be the case you know, so it's kind of puzzling, you know, and it, it, it leaves a lot of questions, unanswered questions, you know, and um, I, I can just imagine what these families are going through at this moment, you know, with, um, you know, with, with an incident like this and not knowing, not knowing. And I'm sure if, if these officers, like, really delve in and investigate this as they should you know a lot of things would come up right um and now the 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 officer that w that was dealing with the case he's now he has now been placed on he is suspended and placed on administrative leave as usual right and um you know this is this is so unacceptable it's not even funny you know what i mean because this is a human being's life and no matter what race color creed you know it it, it needs investigating right um you know it's uh, and then the next thing about it is the, the 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 person that she was on a date with it's like there there he, he was he was left to to walk free as if you know someone didn't die in in his in his company you know i don't know what if the if and what questions they ask him or what but he was he was allowed to walk free as if nothing happened right but um let us listen some more of this video and hear what they're saying died of acute intoxication from a combination of drugs and alcohol. The results showed fentanyl in her system along with two other drugs. The autopsy says the combination of those substances with alcohol led to what it calls an accidental death. In a video statement last night, the family attorney said they believed there was foul play. Someone introduced those drugs to her system and it wasn't her. And we want answers right now. Okay. So, yeah, drugs involve alcohol. We all know what, 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 especially something like fentanyl. You know, we know we all know what can go all kind of things that can go wrong. You know, mixing drugs and alcohol, hard drugs and alcohol together. You know, we have seen it so many times. But nobody knows if she willfully took the drugs. He heard that that person said. Somewhat, someone induced it in her. I don't know how could that be because they say she, you know, she was on the date and and um, then she fell sick. All right, they went outside to meet someone and then they felt she felt sick. She went back inside, fell asleep, and she never woke up. You know, but 
it's it's a give and take situation but all i'm saying it just needs proper investigation you know what i mean i don't know if they're going to find out really what took place here you know because it's kind of hard um autopsies i don't think shows shows um i'm not sure if it can show um you know or how the drug was was ingested or if it was ingested or someone you know put put induced it in her as the gentleman said i'm not sure if autopsies can show that or what kind of forensic you know science or whatever can show something like that but um i don't know i i, I doubt if anything is going to come of this but we're you know still looking out listening to hear what's going on Okay, guys, let's listen some more. Now, the attorney did not explain how the family knows she did not take the drugs herself. The man hasn't been charged and is not considered a suspect, so we are not naming him. According to the police incident report, Smithfields' date told police that two spent the night drinking, eating, and watching a movie. At one point, he said she went outside to meet someone and later fell ill, but the two continued drinking. Smithfields allegedly fell asleep, and hours later, around 6.30 in the morning, the date says he woke up next to Smithfields, not breathing, and called 911. The full autopsy results will not be made public, but the family can request it. Smithfields' family is also still waiting on its own private autopsy results, which are expected within the month. This is so true. Okay, so this is my next point. Um, she met this, this person online, on one of those online dating sites. Right? And that is something I've always... I've always been skeptical of because because of many reasons, not just one reason, but because of many reasons, and I'm never a fan of those online dating apps or dating sites, you know, because you don't even know who you are, who you are um, meeting, you know, what's the person's background, because I'm sure these these sites they might advertise that they do extensive background checks and stuff like that, but I know that's crap. You know what I mean? Because a person could be a serial killer and go on one of those sites and they're not going to find out that he's a serial killer because guess what? If he, if he, if it was known that he was a serial killer, he, he, he would have been in prison, right? So you don't even know who you're meeting on these sites. You know what I'm saying? So um, it, it's, it's, it, I'm never a fan of those those dating sites. So if I if I should give someone, you know, an advice or any advice, especially women, you know, I, w I would I would tell them, listen, don't 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 go on those sites to meet anyone because you don't know who you're meeting, who you're picking up. You know, what I mean, so she met this guy. I don't know how long for how long they've been dating or, or how long they met before that 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 um, fatal night. But. You know, it's it's so funny because if if we're, I'm I'm almost sure that if if she was a person that took drugs from before, her family would know, right? And they the the family said she does not take drugs, right? I don't know if she was trying to please that date, and she you know was experimenting with the drugs, but. You know something not right there you know she could be experimenting as i said but nobody knows i don't know if they're gonna ever find out because you know some sometimes you meet no sometimes some people meet someone and you know they want things to work out you know so if the person tells them to do you know anything they'll probably do it just to please that date because they want that relationship to work you know what i'm saying but Guys, be careful who you meet on these dating sites. Elise, because listen, the autopsy doesn't show how the drugs got into her system. So we still don't know that. And we are just to believe what the man says. The man who, by the way, has not been identified publicly. Right. 
he, he is, could say anything. He, he could say anything. We have not identified him. We have reached. We have tried to reach out and make contact. We have not been able to do so. But the family has been questioning from the very beginning. Has she been drugged? They found. They say they found an unidentified pill in the home. They said they sent that, or they had police take it for processing. We call the state lab. They don't have anything in their possession related to Smithfields' death. And we're not identifying. Yes, guys, so I have a little article here. I'm going to read to see if it sheds any more light on the situation. Um, okay. A Connecticut police officer being investigated for their actions following the death of Lawrence Smith Fields has been suspended and placed on administrative leave. Bridgeport Mayor Joe Ganim announced Sunday the family of Smith Fields, a 23 year old black woman, claims they were not notified by police after she was found dead in December. Another officer being investigated for a similar reason was placed on leave, Ganim announced. I want to know that I am extremely disappointed. I want you to know, I'm sorry, I want you to know that I'm extremely disappointed with the leadership of the Bridgeport Police Department and find, find actions taken up to this point unacceptable. Exactly. So refreshing to hear someone says that. Ganim said in a statement, after reviewing the matters even more closely and in the absence of the police chief, I have directed Deputy Chief Bar Baraja to immediately put on administrative leave the two officers who are on the subject of a Bridgeport police officer, of a Bridgeport police office of internal affairs investigation and disciplinary action for a lack of sensitivity sensitivity to the public and failure to follow police policy in the handling of these two matters which is which is so right because they are treating the matter as if um, a person didn't lose their life Ganim last week announcing an internal investigation into the police department's interactions with Simitfield's family following her death in December, Simit Fields was found dead at her home following a date with a white man <laughs> whom she met on the dating app Bumble. You know, I was going to say, and I can just imagine, I can bet any money that he's white. Because I'm sure if they had gone there and found, found, her, with, found her dead with a, another black person, a black man, it would have been handled a whole different way. Trust me. It would have been handled a whole different way because you would have been the first suspect. As it always been, as it has always been, uh, and as it should be. Simit Fields' mother, Chantel Fields, told CBS News that she drove to her daughter's home after she was unable to get in touch with her. When I got there, there was a note on the door saying, If you are looking for Lauren, call this number, she said. The family said that a detective told them Smith Fields had been found dead about a hour and a half earlier, but nobody reached out to them. Smith Fields' brother, Tavar Gray Smith, told CBS Mornings that the detective told them we didn't need to reach out to any family member. We had her passport and her ID, so we knew who she was and had already performed an autopsy, and her body is at the medical examiner's office. Oh my God, this is so, what, what's the word I'm looking for now? This is, this is, this is really unacceptable. They didn't need to reach out to anybody. So wait a minute. So I thought when, when someone died, correct me if I'm wrong. When someone died, whether in an, in an accident, a, a, a car accident or somewhere other than where their family families are one of the first thing they do after identifying the, the 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 body is to reach out to her to her family members as as soon as they can right but they're saying they didn't need to reach out to any family member that's crazy anyway gray simith also said that the detective hung up on his on his and simith's father wow the family has called the police department's response racially insensitive. That's really insensitive, trust me. 
the Bridgeport Police Department has high standards for officer sensitivity, especially in matters involving the death of, of a family member, Ganim said Sunday. It is an unacceptable failure if policies were not followed. To the families, friends and all who care about the human decency that should be shown in these situations, in this case by members of the Bridgeport Police Department, I am very sorry. An attorney for Smithfield's family told CBS News in a statement that placing the detective on leave is a step in the right direction. Ganim also announced that the officer who was in charge of overseeing these matters resigned Friday. Now well, that's too easy. The officer, the other officer who was suspended is accused of not informing the family of Brenda Rawls, a 53-year-old black woman, of her death. Rawls was found dead the same day as Simit Fields, according to NBC News. Nobody ever notified us that she died, Rawls' sister told NBC News. We had to do our own investigation and found out where she was. Wow. Ganim on Sunday said both women's death, deaths are being investigated and have been resigned, reassigned to different members of the Bridgeport Police Department. Last week, the medical examiner's office said Simit Fields died of acute intoxication due to the com combined effects of fentanyl, promethazine, hydroxyzine, and alcohol, whatever that name is, <laughs> and ruled her death an accident. So, um, I mean, they did autopsy. And I don't know too. So you see, this uh, this this to me seem like seem like are points in the direction of 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 you know racism. Um, I'm, I'm, I I sometimes don't like to use that that word, but because if two two black persons died, you know, in in tragic circumstances you know you you, you 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 as they say where is the sensitivity you know what i mean so this is really unacceptable and they really need some shake up at that at that police precinct you know so but anyway guys that's it for now so once again thanks for tuning in and um remember to share like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell okay all right. Blessings and peace. Find him because he's not been charged? He has not been charged. He is not a person of interest, according to police. Well, I think just how the family responded yes. to how the police didn't really listen to their calls for concern is, is also disturbing. Elise, thank you.